Yo, 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 it's your boy Western Tech here to bring you another one of my personal favorite tech tips to help you as an artist growing your craft. Now, today we're going to go over how to trademark a recording artist name, all right? So, if you're a recording artist who's possibly considering trademarking your name as an independent artist and you don't exactly know how to go about doing that, then this is the perfect video for you because in this video, I'm going to go over everything that you need to know in regards to trademarking your name and how to, in fact, do that, all right? Now, before I continue, I definitely want to let you guys know about my free music business checklist tool that's available on my website right now this is for any one of you guys who's looking into starting your own music business but don't quite know where to start with this tool you actually be able to identify three things that you could do right away to start your own music business so if you want to grab that you can click on the link above i'll also leave a link in the descriptions below all right now when it comes to trademarking before we could actually get into uh, how to actually do it let's talk about what it actually is all right because a lot of people sometimes get trademark and copyright confused all right so i'm going to start off by separating those and making you guys understand the difference when you're talking about copywriting something you're talking about copywriting a work something that you actually create right music is copyright written um books are copywritten movies and films TV shows, all those things that you create, right, are copywritten. When it comes to trademark, you're actually trademarking an identity, right? You trademark a name, you trademark a band name, you trademark a logo, right? You trademark those things that that is identity so that nobody can steal your identity. So that's the difference between a trademark and a copyright. So when it comes to trademarking an artist's name, that is actually a thing, right? You copyright your music, but you trademark your artist name. If you're an artist and you have a logo, you want to trademark the logo, right? That's the difference between those things. So what do you actually have to do to trademark your artist name? Well, I feel like before I actually tell you, you know, like what you actually have to do, I really want you to consider, is this the right time to do it? Because the reason why I say that is because there is a cost to actually trademark your name. And that cost is not cheap, right? It costs more to trademark your name as an artist than it is to actually create an LLC, all right? To trademark your name as an artist, it can cost you anywhere from $250 to $750 in the US. That is a lot of money to trademark a name. And depending on how many things that you want associated with that trademark, it can be a lot, lot more. Now, for the purpose of this video, I'm not gonna go into the full details of how it could be more expensive and what I mean by that, but I'll give you an example of how it could add up, right? If you wanna trademark your name, that's one thing. If you wanna trademark your logo, that's another thing. If you wanna trademark your name as an artist and a producer, that will be two separate things. All of those things would add up and all of those things are separate trademarks, right? For if you were to trademark, let's say a big artist name right now, like, like Drake or Kendrick Lamar, for example, right? You would see a lot of different trademarks for a lot of different things because their name are associated with different things. Their merchandise has a trademark for their name. Their music has a trademark for their name. Them as actors has a trademark for their name. That's why it gets super, super expensive. So when you're an independent artist and you're just starting out, you definitely don't want to go right off the bat and go get a trademark because again, there is a cost to it and it gets expensive, especially when you're thinking the minimum is only $250, right? So the, my rule of thumb when it comes to trademark is this. If you are making enough money with your music to trademark your name, then that means that you're big that then that means you're big enough to have a trademark, right? If you're making enough money to pay for trademarks just as an artist, be, meaning your fan base listening to your music, you're selling your merch, all of those different things. If you're making enough money to pay for trademarks, then you're big enough as an artist to actually do it. Go ahead and do it. Now, if you're not making that much money yet when it comes to your music, then you're not big enough to actually trademark your music. It, you don't, it's not as important right now to protect that because you haven't even created a name worth protecting, if that makes sense, right? So it is very, very important when you do decide to trademark it, just be smart as far as your timing because you don't want to pay for it too early because not only do you have to pay to get the trademark, but you reoccurringly have to pay to keep it. 
right? So that's things that you have to keep in mind when it comes to actually trademarking. The next thing that you wanna keep in mind when it comes to trademarking is finding out if somebody already took the name. What if the name is already trademarked? How do you know? Where do you go check that out? Well, it's very, very, very easy, right? What you wanna do is you want to, for the US, you wanna to go to the USPTO dot gov website all right i'm gonna leave that link in the descriptions below as well but you can also click on the link above to get to that right i'm taking and it's gonna take you straight to the trademark search database right once you get to this page that looks just like this you just want to click on the green button once you click on the green button this the trademark search engine will pop up and it'll look just like this now for the purpose of this video, I'm just gonna give you an example, right? What I did is I typed in Lecrae, right? Lecrae is a big Christian hip hop artist. Obviously he should have a trademark, right? Then you obviously hit the go button and then his trademark, as you can see, pop, pops up here, right? This is his logo. This is everything that's associated with his trademark. Now, when it comes to you as your artist name, search your artist name and see if anything comes up. If nothing comes up, with your name then that means that nobody has trademarked your name yet if something does come up with the same exact name as an artist then that means that you cannot trademark that name and you literally have to change your artist name because somebody already has it and you can't get it from them unless you you want to buy it from them and if they're artists and they have that name they're probably not willing to ch change their name so you're probably gonna have to change your name do it a different way in order to trademark your name as an artist. But that's exactly how you search your actual trademark or search the trademark database to see if your name has been trademarked yet, all right? So once you see that and you see that it's trademarked, once you know that you have the funds to trademark your name, that all you have to do is actually create an account on this website and go throughout the process of filling out an application to trademark your name all right it's step by step the website shows you exactly how to do everything right but some people do get trademark attorneys to do it for for them and i will be honest with you if you could afford a trademark you probably can afford to get attorney an attorney to do it as well they don't do it for a lot you can find people online that could do it for 50 to 100 dollars right now to make sure that you do it the right way the only reason i say that is because there's a lot of wording in there that can get kind of confusing all right it's it's um courtroom wording if you know what i mean right so you want to make sure you do the trademark the right way just hire somebody to do it for you if you could afford to get it you could afford to hire somebody to do it it's it's less to hire somebody than the application fee alone, right? But you can find somebody on Fiverr, you could just Google trademark attorneys and they will literally help you through the process of doing it, but you're still going to be accountable for paying the application fee and everything else that's associated with it, all right? But that's pretty much it, guys. That's actually how you get your name trademark and everything that you want to keep in mind as an artist before you actually trademark your name. Now, for those of you who's looking into starting your own music business, but you don't quite know where to start, I definitely want you to grab this book here, The 13 Steps to Jumpstart Your Music Business, all right? With this book here, it actually identifies the 13 steps that I took to put myself in a position to leave my nine to five job so that I could do music full time. I do music full time right now and I've been doing it for years now and I want the same exact thing for you, all right? So in order to do that, if you wanna know how to do that, grab this book here. I have it as an ebook form and I have physical copies of it as well. It's all available on my website if you want to set yourself up for success, all right? But that's pretty much it, guys. That's everything that you need to know as an independent artist when it comes to trademarks. That's how you do it. And for any additional information or if you have any questions in regards to anything else music industry related, please feel free to leave um, comments in the comment section below because I'm here to help you as an independent artist. All right, guys. Thank you guys for tuning in and I'll see you guys next week. Peace. Yeah. Can't face me. Yeah. Can't face me. I, I feel like Joe.